Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone's doing well. I'm going to show you my latest coronavirus quarantine project I'm working on. And what it is, it's a server power supply. Uh, this one's made by HP. And look at the specs there, 12 volts, 62 amp max. So that's a lot of power that this small unit can put out. It probably weighs, probably weighs about 2 pounds or so. But it's, it's, it's real compact. Now, if you're like me and you're real cheap, you don't want to spend a lot of money on a power supply, uh, stay tuned. I'll show, I'll show you some examples of uh, other ham radio power supplies. Here's one. Oh. MFJ 30 amp switching power supply, brand new. Uh, you're going to shell out over, over 100 bucks for that. And that, that's that's about the price point of uh, most most ham radio power supplies. So. This one, however, I'll show you. Here it is. They sell brand new on eBay for twelve bucks, free shipping. And it, it, there's other ones too. Even if uh, you can't find this exact model, uh, you could get ones made by Dell, uh, IBM, Compaq. They all pretty much can be converted. Uh, same way. Real easy. All I had to do was on the back I, I drilled two holes and used number 10 bolts for the binding posts. And uh, let's see here the left side's negative, right side's positive. And then the other thing you have to do is you gotta solder in a resistor you'll see here and what that does is it pretty much tricks the thing into turning on if you were to just plug it in and not have that uh, it, it just won't turn on for whatever reason and the value of that resistor can be anywhere from 330 to 1000 ohms and anything in that range will work fine so let's let's plug it in. See how it works. Regular uh, computer power plug there. Plug it in. Hear the fan kick on. Power light comes on. Great. Plug in the. Uh, let's plug in the radio. Alright, radio's plugged in. Turn it on. Great. 12.3 volts. Uh, we'll check it with the uh, let's check it on the multimeter. Okay, there we go. All right, 12.3 volts. Great. Beautiful. And I, and I noticed it seems to be a really clean power supply. Um, I tune around, and I really I don't hear any you know birdies or anything. It does seem to be a really clean power supply, so that's great. Uh, I'll, I'll turn it to the dummy load, and we'll go ahead and key down. Set the radio to set it to 100 watts, and it, sh it should be drawing close to 20 amps. So we'll go ahead and key down. Oh, dummy load. Key down 100 watts. No problem. So again, I'll, t I'll tune around a little bit more 
just see if we hear any, you know, strange interference, any type of RFI. I hear nothing so seems pretty good looks good to me if you want to make a power switch for it all you got to do is put a switch in line with the with your resistor here so currently the way I have it set up you got to you got to unplug it and plug it in every time because it, it just comes on by itself but if you did want a power switch you just uh, solder a switch in line there with your resistor Another thing, uh, take a look at the board here. The pins that get soldered on this particular one, they're they're numbered. You'll see you'll see 37 and 33 behind that wire. The ones that get soldered here are are number 33 and 36. And there's plenty of write-ups on the internet if if you use a different model, and they 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 tell you what pins to use. So. Real simple. Thanks for watching.